Hey everybody, welcome back to the Nerd Network, and today I'll be discussing my review and thoughts on the recent uh, episode from DC's Titans. Now I'm going to be uh, talking about some pretty heavy topics from the episode, so if you haven't seen it yet, a spoiler warning is advised. Now, I saw the new episode of Titans last week, and I gotta say, like, personally, it really was amazing because, like, it's pretty much a Beast Boy centric episode. I also love how this episode introduced a brand new character, pretty much one who has never been in uh, any movie or TV show before. So, this was pretty much his official multimedia debut. Now, this character was introduced into this series as basically a guide uh, to Gar, and now that Beast Boy has now been chosen to be the Avatar of the Red. This character's real name is Dominic, but he also goes by Freedom Beast. To keep a long story short, Dominic was a prisoner of a South Africa ethics group until he was rescued by Animal Man and Bawana Beast. Giving him some of his powers, Bawana Beast became Dominic's uh, teacher, and afterwards, uh, he passed the mantle down to Dominic, and now he became a uh, freedom beast. Like Bawana Beast, Dominic has the ability of super strength, speed, agility, endurance, and also the ability to combine two different animals into a super hybrid. For those who have heard of Bawana Beast, you've probably seen him in the likes of Justice League Unlimited and Batman Brave and the Bold. It was also cool that this episode uh, introduced the Red. I mean, this is the first time I actually like seen the Red in action before. In case you didn't know, the Red is one of several primordial forces in the DC Universe, and each one connects to a certain aspect of existence. And of course, in this particular um, way, the Red uh, connects to everything animal life. And like in the comic books, the Red has chosen several heroes to be avatars of its power, including the likes of Beast Boy, Bawana Beast, Animal Man, Vixen, and many others. And like I said before, the Red is one of several aspects of the DC Universe. The second most popular primordial force in the DC Universe is indeed the Green, which connects to everything plant life. Now the Green has also had several avatars over the years, including the likes of Poison Ivy and Black Orchid, but its most popular avatar is Alec Holland, aka Swamp Thing. The next primordial force is called the Black, which associates with death. The next one is called the Clear, which is mainly associated with aquatic life. The next one is called the White, which is mainly associated with air elements. The next force is called the Grey, which mainly connects to all fungal life. The next force is called the Melt, which mainly connects to Earth elements. The next one is called the Metal, which mainly connects to everything metallic or technological. And the last force is called the Divided, which mainly associates with microscopic life, like bacteria. There's also a Fire primordial force, but nobody knows what it's properly called. Yeah. But it wasn't the red that made this episode really stand out. It's about what the red can do. And since the red chose Beast Boy to be its new avatar, it also gave him a brand new power. He can use the power of the red to travel across the DC multiverse. Yeah. I mean, Beast Boy has seen so much with that new ability. I mean, he saw Grant Gustin's Flash. He met Stargirl. He saw... Um, Zachary Levi Shazam, he saw Swamp Thing, he saw Grant Morrison, and he even saw his own uh, Teen Titans Go alternate form. And finally, he actually met uh, Cyborg from the Doom Patrol series. I honestly can't wait to see how their dynamic goes. Now, if you don't know who Grant Morrison is, Grant Morrison is a Scottish comic book writer, and he has worked with DC for own um, years. 
His works include the likes of Animal Man, which first explains the concept of the Red. He's worked on Doom Patrol, Batman and Robin, the JLA. And his most popular uh, piece of work is this, The Multiversity, which is a um, graphic novel which explains the concept of the DC multiverse. Like how many Earths there are, who lives in them, um, where they are in the um, DC universe, etc., etc. Yeah. So if it wasn't for Grant Morrison, we wouldn't have had this amazing episode. Yeah. Thank you everyone for joining me today. Like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos. See you next time.